Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on the Lehigh Valley Phantoms after beating the Providence Bruins yesterday that are ahead of them in the standings, now getting to take on the Hartford Wolfpack, the almighty Wolfpack that are in first place the last time I checked uh, as I pull up the standings right now. The Wolfpack are still in first place with their 615 points percentage. Uh, where the percentage for the Phantoms is exactly at 500 and a 513 for Wilkesbury and a 571 for Providence, who they beat 5 to 1 yesterday and are carrying in the momentum from beating a team that was firing on all cylinders uh, in the Providence Bruins yesterday to playing one of the best teams in the league in the Hartford Wolf Pack. Uh, this season, uh, the Phantoms in the head to head, though, even though the Wolf Pack are one of the best teams in the league. The Phantoms have been good this season in the head-to-head. -head. Uh, obviously, the Wolfpack have more points uh, than our Lehigh Valley Phantoms. According to the Phantoms app, the goals for is 117-104 to 104 in favor of the Wolfpack. The goals against is 113 in favor of the Wolfpack to 118. Obviously, the Phantoms have a negative differential of minus 14. The Wolfpack have a positive 4 and of taking um, under 400 penalty minutes, where the Phantoms are at 421 where sometimes problem of the game penalties have been issues for fans this year where they've taken penalties at absolutely the worst times of the game. And that's really going to haunt you, obviously, in moments, especially against the best teams in the league. According to the Phantoms app, uh, with 3-1 and one against the Wolfpack this year, they're 1-2-0-1. Oh, so the Phantoms have been able to get it done against the Wolfpack. Um, the, the games, the, primarily because they've been able to kind of keep their foot on the gas pedal throughout 90%. You're never 100% locked in for all the game. That's just not really realistic. But they've been able to keep their foot on the gas pedal and not really go into those big walls and really play the style of getting out of the zone, entering the next zone, while something the parent club doesn't do well, obviously, in the fly, and being able to provide offensive pressure but also play good defense that pisses off and kind of frustrates the other team. When they were consistently chip it off of their sticks and get it going the other direction, and you're able to generate your own chances on one of the better defenses and one of the better goalie teams and one of the better just offenses, all all around teams that no block coaches in the league in the Hartford Wolfpack. That's going to go a long way, and that's what the fans have been able to do is being one of the few teams this year to have success against the Wolfpack. Obviously, coming off of beating a very good Providence Bruins team, being a very good AHL goaltender in Troy Grosnick, uh, the Phantoms should be coming in very confident in this game. They won 5-1, to one, led by Wyatt Wiley being an absolute menace to society again and doing absolutely fantastic uh, again yesterday, being able to have two assists and a goal. Uh, Morgan Frost comes down, has a goal. He's a player of the game. Wyatt Wiley's the first player of the game, and then Hayden Hodgson would be the second player of the game uh, with the two goals, and I would say Frost is the third player of the game. And then Felix Sanchez does a thing in net, uh, making a couple very key saves um, on a couple um, odd man rushes and a couple breaks as well. So the Phantoms as a whole did their entirety thing. They played a very good push to pace, never lay off game yesterday. And that showed as they were able to get a 5-1 win over a great Providence Bruins team and a very good AHL goaltender in Troy Grosnick. Keep pushing the pace tonight. Keep doing what they were doing. Jam the neutral zone. Get in and out of the zone well like they've been doing against the Wolfpack. And just play the never, never give in, never a give up mentality that this team's been doing ever since they found that tick um, a couple months back now and been able to get in the winning ways after November and in December have started to find their way now into January and now into February. And this team has been able to rebound themselves out to be in a playoff spot competing with the Wilkes Bridge, Grand and Penguin and the Providence Bruins for that final playoff spot. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms playing the Hartford Wolfpack. Chris Noblas team, a guy that Lance Green and I hope maybe could coach the Flyers again and come back here to be a coach shortly uh, in the future. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the game. And let's go Phantoms. Let's keep the winning ways going and beat that best team in the Wolfpack. Peace out, everybody.